So this is the general setup of the jig. Um, this uh, board on the back here is uh, just over a five degree angle with the saw that was just screwed on. It's a piece of, piece of strapping. Uh, and I've got uh, two pieces of uh, two by eight there that um, just scrap wood that I have lying around. And uh, as you can see, I put a hinge back here. It's a chipster's jig, of course. And uh, that hinge just allows me to change the angle there. Um, I've, it's not very fancy what I've got here. I've got a, a little brick that I put underneath and I move it more towards the center as, the, uh, as I make steeper cuts according to the spreadsheet. So the cuts themselves, the first cut is cut at this angle. Um, oh, just to show you the angle there, I use I use this to set the proper angle. Uh, I'm at the uh, I'm at the ninth course, I think, um, and so it's around a nine and a half degree angle, which I have set, um, and that's approximately this angle. So I had previously set this up on my jig and made sure that I was at the right angle there. So that'll work for this whole course. In terms of the cutting, you put your brick on your jig and you make your first cut like so. Uh, then you take your brick and you turn it up 180 and you make your second cut. And I think the objective here is to get two reasonably sized, similarly sized pieces. Then you turn your brick final time and you make your final cut like so. Um, and when you end when you finish that, you end up with two very similar sized pieces. Uh, I'll cut them now and I'll show you the next uh, the result in a, in a photo.